Activism and art have always gone together, whether it be smaller placards or huge inflatable balloons of world leaders. The largest protests this year have come from Extinction Rebellion and the anti-Brexit march that drew in almost a million people. Artists are now creating huge installations and are taking their role quite seriously. Do you see the flag? In... What's the symbol here? Don't have symbol. There, it's its location in the, the protests. It's, uh, it's art. It's, it's uh, bring art to the protests. Artists like Otavio are working independently with climate change groups to help combat the crisis. The flags used here are to represent the Amazon rainforest fires. Protests have become commonplace in London, with Extinction Rebellion at the forefront. At each of these protests, we see big pieces of art like this flag. We're at the climate strike right now. And the question is, how much impact are these pieces actually having? Another independent artist here has emphasised the importance of making art for the digital age. And nowadays, it's social media is everything. So... The big art is make uh, things more visual and people are more curious, going there, see what this is, more impactful. We try to collect people and pay attention to the people. It's, I think it's one of the main focus of the flag, make people think also. While mass protests are one form of activism, some movements are subtler in their approach. Here at Albert Studios in Hackneywick is where Bloody Good Period's glitter tampon was first developed. Bloody Good Period provide access to menstrual products for women who can't afford them. One of several models, this design is also being shown at the newly opened Vagina Museum in Camden and will be displayed at the British Library in the near future. People love taking photos of it, they think it's really fun, um, it gets the conversation started. Uh, definitely people that are already like within the charity, within the whole community, uh, for activism. Activism on its own is, is an amazing way to get people involved within politics, policies, changing the way that people live and work. Um, and art is a way of using things like humour, visual statements, anything like that, and it gets the message out there in a, in a way that's impactful. Um, and easy to understand. While mass protests and smaller acts of activism differ in their strategy, one thing they do share in common is their love for art. Amelia Green, City News.